In SketchUp, there is a tool to select an object and three others to manipulate it. Manipulating an object means that you can select, move, rotate, and scale. The Select tool allows you to select almost anything in the viewport. There are three ways to select something with the Select tool. For example, here is a model. If you click once on the model, you will only select a face. If you double click on a model, you will select a face and the surrounding edges of that face. If you triple click on a model, you will select the entire model. To make multiple selections, simply hold shift then continue to select. The Move tool allows you to move or modify selected edges, faces, or the entire model. The tool itself can also perform a single click selection. Alternatively, you can pre-select with the Select tool, then manipulate it with the Move tool. When moving, if you hold the up arrow key, you will only move along the blue axis. Holding the right arrow key will only move things along the red axis. Holding the left arrow key will move things along the green axis. The Rotate tool allows you to rotate a selected face, edge, or the entire model along any axis. It is highly recommended to pre-select with the Select tool in order to rotate properly. The Rotate tool also comes with a hovering protractor that flattens itself on the faces of that model. With the Rotate tool, click once and hold on a pre-selected model. Then drag the mouse around until the protractor changes color to the corresponding axis. Whichever color of the axis that the protractor changes to, it will only rotate along that axis. After setting the axis for rotation, you can set a guide angle, then begin to rotate. The Scale tool allows you to quickly scale a selected face, edge, or the entire model. Like the Rotate tool, it's highly recommended to pre-select with the Select tool then use the Scale tool afterwards. By default, the Scale tool isn't available on the toolbar at the top. You can access the Scale tool through the Tools menu or using the full toolbar. To begin scaling, simply select a pre-selected model with the Scale tool. This will generate a box with several scale points around that selected object. You can click and drag a scale point to scale the object in that direction. You can also scale uniformly in both directions by holding the control button on the keyboard. The Make Component tool, which is not a manipulation tool, allows you to group many multiple models together to be selected as one object. After selections are set, clicking on the Make Component tool allows you to set a name and description for your component. To view all your components, simply select Components from the Window menu. From there, you can duplicate components by dragging it in into your viewport. 